Welcome to Small Grow Podcast. You are in all about my channel, and today I'm going to talk about the daily English improvement. And I found the article from Medium named "How to Improve Your English Daily" from Dennis Landol. And yeah, it's pretty important to be able to communicate in English, right? In order to Deliver your thoughts, or even to consume more broad information from another language except your mother tongue. So yeah, I think it's pretty fair that most of the people try so hard to learn English, but learning new language is not easy. It's a tough task in your life. And it requires a lot of practice and experience in order to get to the level of fluency and、um, the level of the language that you desire. So yeah, I found this article is pretty much helpful for you to daily practice your English skill, no matter what、um, skill it is: listening, writing, speaking, or reading. And yeah, let's get started. There are three、uh, tips that you can implement in your daily life in order to get better in your English skill. The first one is face reality and take the ownership. First of all, you need to be accountable for your skill. What I mean is that no one can make you. Be better. No one can help you get to the fluency level that you want, except you. So the first thing is to take accountability of your own pathway, your own progress, making it obviously、uh, strong to yourself that okay, you are so commit to this. Like you wanna be able to communicate in English more fluent, and yeah, facing the reality is something like, okay, you accept your level of language so far. It doesn't mean that you're gonna stuck here forever. If you keep learning, practicing, and improving yourself, you will definitely get where you wanna. Be in the future or even near future. So the first thing first is to face the reality and take the ownership of your skill before anything else. And after that, you will plan for your learning journey or even seeking someone to tutoring your speaking skill or whatsoever. But yeah, at the beginning of the point, get started with. Facing the reality and take the ownership. The next tips is the group activities. I absolutely practicing or working with a team is pretty much、uh, better in term of experience because you can get more fun by doing activity. What I mean is group activity. Uh, in this article, she said it's the fusion between learning English, having a good time with your team, and getting to know each other. Obviously, right? You got、uh, three benefits at the same time, so it's kind of be kill the bird、um, by kill two birds by one stone. Sorry, I kind of forget the idiom. So. Yeah, she suggests one of the game that you can apply with your team in order to improve your English daily. What you require are a map, a prawn for each player, or the coin or the dice, and a blindfold. It simply be just a game that you need the pair of people, one for guide and one for by for the walker. And yeah, you will toss the coin and、um, take signs. Who gonna be which one? Either the guide or the by for the walker. And then you will walk over the map 
I mean, the bifurcated walker will walk over the map in order to get the destination by the guide from the guider. Symbols like that. So yeah, it's pretty much fun, and you will definitely learn English at the same time because practice in the real the reality is the best. A、uh, way of learning English, like you learn it by doing it. And last but not least is the tips about solo activities. Yeah, and I think most of the people have done this、um, activity so far because it's less prepare and more doing.、Um, but what she suggests here is to get your hand dirty. I mean. When you prepare for something like you study grammar, you read books, or even you um search for the vocabulary, it's all about the preparation. But what she suggests here is add more doing part, like go exploring the world, go talk to people. You can actually find it. Uh, from the online resources to practice your speaking skill or even listening skill, just be actively doing it, and it will pretty much helpful in order to improve your English skill daily. And that's all for today. I found it is pretty much helpful and practical, so you could be able to enjoy improve. Your English daily, in both the solo way or even the group way, and yeah, thank you for your listening. See you soon.